well, don't worry, Byron. If they do throw on to me, I shall surely find you later and throw some on you too, just so that you feel like you're part of the team. But we have a big female right next to the car. You can see the front of the car there. And she's just waiting for the rest of the herd to come past before she carries on and allows them to go. So here she comes. Okay, girl. Isn't this incredible? We are being absolutely spoiled to be as close as we are to a female elephant who is not showing too many signs of being in distress, but I'm lowering my voice because I don't want her to get upset and I'm trying not to move too much because she's just waiting for the rest of the herd. You see there's a little baby going behind her, so I think she's waiting for her little baby to go past before she carries on and the little baby's having a little dust bath. You can see the shadow of the one walking behind us now as we get engulfed by this herd and there comes another one at the back. Wow, this is amazing. Let's see, look at her trunk is just resting. Isn't that in incredible that we can see the detail on her trunk and her tusks? imagine the stories this old female could tell look at her temples you can see her temples actually sunken in her eyes long eyelashes there we go now the whole herd's gone across and she's going to she's going to in all likelihood carry on once the herd is gone now although she looks as though she might be picking up a trunk full of dust do you want the pipe that is underneath us now there is a pipe that is underneath the car and I don't know if that's what she's busy watching at the moment or what that she wants because she keeps kind of looking at me as though why are you here but the pipe is not connected girl you can't grab the pipe it's not good for you but you can see very clearly her two tusks as well and there's a leaking from her temporal glands and the two tusks there so one is much shorter than the other see that left tusk is much shorter so that's the tusk that she will use to work with a lot more she'll find that she'll break off roots and branches using that and that's why it's ended up being stubbier and more sort of thicker and then the long right tusk that she doesn't use nearly as much now interestingly enough she's leaking heavily from her temporal glands which is a sign of emotion now she was doing that when we were a long way away on the other side before we even got here she was leaking out of there so i don't know if she's content by the fact that she's already had water and it's a fairly nice temperature but you can see the darkening just behind the eyes what do you want my girl interesting though she's listening to us very intently as well now this is an old female in all likelihood the matriarch of this particular herd we know that she's older because if you look at her temples just above the eyes there you see how they sunken in so that's an indication often of age as they get older so that skin starts to sink in around the temples and a lot like people and it can be an indication that she's an older female also the fact that she's sitting here and she's waiting for the rest of the elephants to move and to cross before she goes is generally an indication of her being the matriarch of this particular herd They're having a little foot rest and you can see the toenails my girl you might need a pedicure and she goes is as good as it gets it's the most special thing to be in the company of one of the giants of Africa and to be that close and to have her just be that relaxed around us is absolutely phenomenal well sometimes when you see elephants this way it renders you almost speechless when you're sitting that close to them I cannot explain to you the feeling that you have when they're just sitting and you're making almost eye contact with them and they're right next to you and enjoy and right in your presence and there's almost this game of them kind of looking and seeing what you're about it is phenomenal and I can tell you in no way does she feel threatening she's not displayed any aggressive behavior what I will tell you though is that she is heavily pregnant mm -hmm. if we come back you can see look at how rounded she is around the hip area there so she's a heavy pregnant female and I wonder if maybe that leaking we're seeing from the temporal gland is related to her pregnancy maybe she's you know having a bit of a stressful time maybe the baby's moving a little bit and that's causing her to kind of 
leak from that gland but it's in no way made her aggressive or grumpy with us but she's definitely got a little one inside there you can actually see how the stomach itself is drooping a little bit see there so that is almost full term she's actually even got a little bit of milk starting around her teats it's not completely soiled in yet but there is milk developing in those teats and I would imagine that in the next month or two that maybe she's going to give birth which would be fantastic if that was the case Wow but I can tell you we've just had a brush with one of nature's greatest animals out here Seb? Well, it was fantastic. You want it epic? That's about as epic as it gets. Now there is one elephant behind us that I'm going to try and show you because the shot itself is going to be epic. Look at that Seb. Sunset and an elephant with the sunset. There we go. So there's our sunset for those of you that are into your screenshots. How's that? There's the sun dipping, elephant below it. Isn't that beautiful? Now that's one of the young males by the looks of it. I can't see nicely because I'm staring straight into the sun at this stage and it's a little bit of a bleak angle for me. It looks like one of the young males that's just gone off feeding and the rest of the herd is also feeding just in the thicket off the dam here so they're all not too stressed about what's going on and this is often what happens after a bit of a drink they'll then move into these thicker areas and start to drink. Now I'm almost sure that is a male and there we go there's the sunset. Riedel, you want to know how the elephants get their mineral requirements at Juma? Well, through varying food sources. So you must remember that elephants are not just eating grass, they're not just eating leaves, they're eating roots, they're eating bark, they're eating everything they can. Sometimes you'll even find the, the plants that they are eating, like the grasses, they're pulling out, they're going to eat the roots of that grasses. There's going to be certain minerals that are going to be found in the soil that they're even going to consume. So they'll get some from soil, some from leaves, some from roots, some from bark and some from the grass itself. So it just depends on what food source they're going after, but that will be enough for them to sustain themselves and to get more minerals than they actually need. There will also be minerals that will be leached into the water um, from the soil that the water is on, and so when they drink, they're gonna get certain minerals from there too. This area that the elephants are in and why the elephants here often are much bigger than a lot of other elephants in the world is because if you look in front of us, look at the amount of vegetation we've got all over here. Now that vegetation is hugely nutrient rich. There's massive variety that they have and so it means these guys can really find the food that they need in order to survive. It's a rich ecosystem for elephants and for food items and so they find all their nutrients that they need through the various food sources that we have.